Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're in my dining room and we're taking a look at my dining room table. So a couple years ago I had this table custom made and I really love it. This nice barn wood here on the top and these really cool legs. But one thing I don't love about it is... Yeah, it weebles and wobbles and I'm afraid it might fall down. So ever since I got it, I wanted to see if I could add some more strength to it because it hasn't fallen down, but I just really don't like that wobble. So today we're gonna take it apart. <laughs> okay. Today we're gonna take it apart and see, uh, see what we can do to add some strength to this. So come join us. We started by removing the legs. Then we carried the top to the garage. Don't be fooled by us moving this ourselves. This top was really heavy. We started by cleaning out the grooves. Something you may not think about using when you're working with wood is canned air. The same stuff you use with your electronics. We buy it by the case and we use it a lot in cleaning up small areas of dust and dirt. The original finish for this table was wax, so that needed to be removed before we could apply a new finish. We tried a few products to remove the stubborn wax, starting with wipe clean, then mineral spirits, then a lot of sanding. We did a whole lot of sanding to try to remove the wax and to get a smooth finish to the top. One of the issues I've had with this table during the four years that I've had it is the top is pretty rough and food would fall down the deep cracks between the panels. Because of this, we decided to add epoxy in the big gaps. We turned the top over and used aluminum tape to cover the seals so that the epoxy would not drip out. This worked okay, but epoxy always seems to find loose spots to drip from. Just keep an eye on this and reinforce any loose spots. We mixed up our epoxy. We found this one on Amazon and have used it for a few projects now. Then we poured it into place. One of the issues we had with the epoxy is it kept traveling and traveling and traveling and so where we wanted the epoxy it kept emptying out. So if we were to do this again we'd use epoxy that dries a little bit faster so that it wouldn't be able to travel as far and we wouldn't have to use as much. Once that dried fully we started to finish the top with shellac. We did about four coats sanding with 220 grit between each coat. we had a chance to try the new Diablo sandpaper and it's actually called sand net and it lasts 10 times the length of a regular piece of sandpaper and we used it a lot and we still have a lot of life left in that one piece of sandpaper. We turned the top over and removed the tape. This was a challenge in some areas as the epoxy had traveled from the top to the bottom and overlapped some of the tape but we got about 95% of the tape off. Next we attached our legs which are metal sawhorses. We brought the table back inside and set it up. Again, this is old barn wood and it is really heavy. We put it on chairs to help maneuver it into place. And done. These new legs make the table nice and secure. We would have tried to move it on video, but there'd be nothing to see as this new table does not move with these new legs. What we learned. So we were originally going to create an apron for the table so that the legs were a little bit more secure. But when we put the table on the sawhorses in the garage to work on the top, we realized it was really, really pretty secure. So we decided to find some metal sawhorses to use as the legs and it's worked out really well. And what's nice is if this doesn't work out and we don't like the sawhorses, we can take them off because all we did was screw them to the top and we could put new legs on it. The original finish on this table was wax and it was a real bear to get off. We used a lot of harsh chemicals and a lot of sanding and we really still didn't get it all off, but we're okay with that. So if you wax a piece of furniture, you need to decide that's gonna be pretty much a permanent finish to your piece of furniture. 
This is the second time that we've used shellac to finish off one of our wood pieces. So we're, we really like the look of it. We're not sure how it's gonna hold up over time, but we'll let you guys know that as the years go on. Three coats into putting the shellac on, we realized we should have used our paint sprayer. It would have avoided, we could have avoided a lot of the brush strokes that we ended up getting in our finish. So if you have a paint sprayer, get it out and use it. <laughs> exactly. So if you like this project, you want to see more from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com. It's a subscribe here right on YouTube and next to the subscribe button, you'll see a little bell. Click on that and you'll get alerted when we have a new video. Thanks for watching. I'm on the wrong side. I'm always on that side. Oh, do you want to switch? Yes. I see, I thought you were sitting there.